Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which means I find no credible evidence for the existence of any God. Today is March 8, 2014. This is the beginning of the week-long spring break for the local public schools. A group of teenagers from a Presbyterian church a few miles from where I live are beginning a spring break mission trip from here, southeast Texas, to Santa Fe, New Mexico. I tutored one of these students in math at her home the school year before last. For many reasons, I have a very high regard for her. My understanding of their mission trip of last year is that they helped to build homes for needy people. If that or something similar is what they will be doing this year, I say to them in all sincerity, I offer you my deepest congratulations and best wishes. That is surely a wonderful thing for you to do during your spring break. Now I have some questions for you. First, Christians here in the United States, including you Presbyterians, are deeply divided on the issue of same-sex marriage. I do not know how it is in your local church. You are going from our home state, Texas, which does not allow same-sex marriage, to an adjoining state, New Mexico, which is one of the 17 states that now do allow same-sex marriage. My main question is, would you help to build a home for a same-sex married couple? Are members of your youth group of one mind on this subject, or are you deeply divided? Have you ever discussed this issue? Will you discuss it? I am convinced that the issue of same-sex relationships and marriage is the big civil rights issue of our time comparable to the racial civil rights movement in our nation when I was young. I have a lot more questions for you, but here is one more group of questions for now. Besides the charitable work that you do, as part of your mission trip, are you going to proselytize? There are a lot of Catholics in Santa Fe, New Mexico, probably a higher percentage than where you and I live. Now, I was a Catholic, indeed a Catholic priest, in the 1960s, so I know about the Catholic religion. Jesus was at the center of my life. What is your attitude toward Catholics? What have you been taught about Catholics? Many of your fellow non-Catholic Christians think that Catholics are not really Christians. Do you think Catholics are going to hell? Your church teaches salvation by faith alone and supports that teaching by certain Bible passages. Catholics, on the other hand, believe in salvation by faith and good works, and they can cite a bunch of Bible passages that contradict yours and support their position. The Catholic position toward you Presbyterians not my position, but the Catholic position, is we Catholics are members of the one true church. You are members of an illegitimate renegade church. You may get to heaven, but it won't be nearly as easy as if you were a member of the one true Catholic church, because our church offers a bunch of aids and benefits that yours doesn't. Well, if you on your mission trip meet some outspoken Catholics, will you engage them in discussion? Will you try to convert them to become Presbyterians? Would you settle for their becoming Methodists or Baptists or Lutherans or Disciples of Christ or Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons? Are you aware that different passages in the Bible say very different things about the means of salvation? Have you ever discussed this? Will you discuss it? I have a lot more on my mind about your mission trip, but that's all for now. I will be very interested to learn about your charitable work of this week. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.